Hey guys, hello, it's, it's Julian here, and today making dog food. So <laughs> I get asked two questions in life often. One, where do I get my protein? And the second one, as I get this asked more, where does the dog get his protein from? So I'll answer the second question today, um, and it's from uh, from here. So this is what I do. I don't make all, don't make all my own dog food, but um, I use a bit of dry once in a while, so I've got a pack of Yara, that one. I've used other ones as well, Bonovo, V-Dog. Um, but I try and make as much as I can because basically, same as your own food, you, you know what's in it then. And um, well, to be honest, it's a bit cheaper. So this one, what I'm doing, this is what I've been doing for about a year now, uh, using this one, Veggie Dog. Um, I'll put a link to that down below. The great thing about this one, they send you some recipes, like a recipe sheet, there's rice-based ones, um, lentil-based, but I'm doing this one, I'm doing um, porridge-based one. So all I've done so far, because this has got, got honestly, this has got to be easy or I will not do it. It's simple as that. It won't get made if it's difficult. So I've made up a big old um, batch of porridge. So it's a bit lumpy. Sorry, buddy. But he doesn't care. Um, so all I did, I put four uh, four cups. I'm talking, I am talking about cups. Four cups of porridge in there. And I put eight cups of water mixed around in a saucepan. And I got basically a porridge base. Great thing about that is it's bulky and it's, it's dead cheap. Um, and then I'm just going to follow this list down. So we'll just see where it goes really. So they said eight cups dry. I went for four. So I'm doing everything as halves because I just thought that's kind of enough for me. I don't know how big their dog is, but for me, for a Cocker Spaniel, this is fine. So now it says two cups of dry textured soy protein, um, TSP. So they said two cups. I'm doing halves. So yeah, you guessed it, one cup of that, in it goes, uh, easy. Give that a bit of a, a bit of a mix around. Okay, it tells you at the top as well, interestingly, in answering the question that I asked right at the start, where does he get his protein? It actually tells you the protein content of the different recipes. On this one, 24.2% protein, 13.8% fat, and it tells you the calories, well, that'll be a bit less, so three and a half thousand calories, mine will be what, 1750 calories, I suppose. Um, in there, um, you know, and he's he's thriving on it. To be honest, so he's been on this for over a year. Uh, what's next? So one tablespoon of veggie yeast. So that's this stuff. I, I use uh, this brewer's yeast, veggie yeast, same difference, I think. So they say one tablespoon. This isn't really a tablespoon, as such. It's quite it's a bit smaller. So I'm just gonna put one of those in. Coming together nicely. Uh, right, they now say one and a half tablespoons of ground flaxseed, as this is the smallest tablespoon. I'm just going to put like, I don't know, just like one of those in there before. He's not too picky. Okay, so that mixes in. One and a half tablespoons of hemp oil. I forgot to buy hemp oil, so I'm just going to chuck a bit of olive oil in. So that same one and a half, I'm going to put in what? Just like a generous one of those. Um, two tablespoons of veggie dog mix, they say 30 grams, and right, let's have a look. Now, I don't really want to put the mucky spoon in there, but I'll tell you what, here's the interesting thing. You can't do this when you're making meat-based dog food, well, I wouldn't advise it, but, you know, the spoon's a bit mucky there, but, you know, it's all right. I can eat that. I'll tell you what, if you push, you can make this for the kids and the dog at breakfast and feed everybody. So they said two tablespoons, I'm gonna put one. I wouldn't advise eating it once these vitamins have got in actually. Sorry, half a teaspoon of salt or two teaspoons of soy sauce. Well, I'm feeling generous, so I've gone for a bit of soy sauce today. I'll just put a splash of that in, like a, a bit, I don't know, about like that. It should be fine. Mix that in, that's looking good. And then, that is it really, now it's optional. They say you can chuck in any old veg you want, but don't do more than sort of 10% veg. That's their advice, so I'll go with that. So all I've done is um, one cup full of, um, one cup full of, what are these, Brussels sprouts, or chopped up Brussels sprouts. I don't know why I chopped them, because he's not, he's not fussy, but sort of makes them kind of seem like they go a bit further. So they're in there, mix them around. And that, that's it. I could still eat this if I had to, couldn't I? Look at that, there you go. 
Hey guys, so uh, here we are now on location in the garden, just um, seeing them. Um, have a scratch, mate. Don't worry about this. We're, we're filming here, mate. Concentrate. Just to uh, just to see if he likes it. You know, I don't think there's too much doubt about this because it's basically porridge. <laughs> but um, and he's had his breakfast. But here we go. Um, yeah. There you go. Put in the pudding and all that. Yeah. So he's. Uh, yeah, I think he's going to do okay with that. So um, there we go. I'll, um, I'll, wrap, I'll wrap it up. I totally suggest you give it a go. Um, I, if I can do it, anyone can do it. I'm not a cook. Um, if you can guess that, and you, you know what's in it, and most importantly, I think it's probably better than the shop bought stuff, and it's cheaper. So you, you can't lose, guys. It's dead, dead quick. <laughs> What I would say, and I think most people would advise this as well, if you are on like a normal dog food, like a meaty dog food, and you're transitioning across to this kind of stuff, um, just do it gradually. So fact, phase it in, like bring in 25% of this first, and then go up to 50%, then 75%, then up to 100%, um, and just see how the dog gets on with it. Have an experiment, see what works best for your dog. Um, he's thriving on it, and um, yeah. Have, have fun, hope it goes well. So I hope that was useful, guys. If you've got a dog, I hope it's useful. If you haven't got a dog, it wasn't useful, but um, such is life. Uh, yeah, comment, tell me what you think, let me know. And um, I'll be interested what you think. I'll catch you later, guys. Bye.